Well, farmers are always watching the weather here in this country and in other countries as well. South America has been receiving a lot of rain lately, but the question now is whether or not for its farmers it's too little too late. In this week's Bottom Line, Neil Malasson brings us up to date. And Neil, what is the situation in South America right now? Well, Mike, the rains did materialize in many countries in South America, including many areas that were the driest. However, harvest has also begun in many countries down in South America, and the projections are still for the same lower yields as before when the rains weren't present. Let's take a look at some South American numbers right now. Argentine soybeans dropped a million tons in the estimate this week, dropping to 43 million metric tons from 46.7 last year and well below the estimate for early January of 48.8 million metric tons. Overall, Brazilian soybeans are holding firm with the estimate at 57.5, but that's compared to right at a 60 million metric ton production for 08. Now, speaking of Brazil, an interesting side note is that for the first time in eight years, they posted their first monthly trade deficit totaling $518 million. That's compared to $922 million positive for this time last year and $2.3 billion positive as late as December. Now, while the drop in trade deficit in Brazil may seem like the price of tea in China, it is pointing to a declining world economy. The drop in world demand is the bottom line this week as it has a lot more to do with the markets than South American yields do. And that drop in demand means stagnant markets. We've seen a decline in exporting countries for several months now, especially since the beginning of the year. And even though these grain commodities are a world staple, it still means a bearish tone for the markets for some coming months until something changes. That's the bottom line this week. I'm Neil Malansaw. Back to you in the studio, Mike. Thanks, Neil. And of course, to stay up to date with the markets every day, you can listen to Neil's reports on the Louisiana Farm Bureau radio network. For a list of stations where you can listen in, you can click on over to our website, twilighttv.org, and click on the Farm Bureau radio link.